Okay, so this is the servo I, and we're going to go through a device check and circuit check. So you'll notice <clears throat> this one's already hooked up, so I've got a uh, inspiratory filter, and I think even on the servo I it says inspiratory expiratory, so if you're ever uh, stuck in the OSCE. Um, inspiratory filter, short tubing going to your heater chamber. Uh, heater chamber then is going to hook into your other side of your inspiratory tubing which is going to bring the gas to your patient. You'll notice it's got the internal heater wire which is powered by this uh, uh, heater cord here. I've got a temperature probe right at the chamber so this is your chamber probe measuring the gas temperature of the uh, gas leaving that chamber. I've also got a chamber or sorry a temperature probe closer to my patient and it's measuring the temperature coming down that inspiratory side just before it enters into your patient. Um, Another thing you should note on the servo Y, there's a little drawer here. So you pop this up and you can slide out this whole machine here. And you can pop the whole expiratory assembly out. So there's a little button here, you just push it. it. comes out in one nice piece. So we're going to put that back in. It's going to click. Push that back. Hook this up. And turn on the machine. So around the back. There's a little window here. You're going to flick your monitor on. You'll see when it's on, that little protective covering goes over it. Come back to the front, you'll see your screen firing on. It's going to go through a little software check. And then it's going to prompt you to do some stuff. So, it's asking, do you want to do a pre-start check? And we're going to go ahead and say yes. And it's going to get right into it. So first thing it's doing is an internal test. So it's running this test already. It's passed that. It's telling me to, well first it's done a barometer test. So let's check barometric pressure. Uh, it's now saying to connect the test tube between inspiratory and uh, expiratory side. This is the test tube that we use for the servo eye. So I'm going to pop off the inspiratory and expiratory side just as it's asked connect my test tube up select ok and away we go so now it's doing a gas supply test internal leakage test pressure transducer test safety valve test O2 cell and sensor test which it will fail uh, again because we're just testing this in the lab here and we don't actually have our oxygen uh, piped into the machine right now. Flow transducer test, a battery switch test, patient circuit test, a Y sensor test, that's another external piece so on the side of this you'll actually see some modules. If you come down here you'll see one that says Y sensor module and you can plug a cord in there to make it a little bit more accurate, a little bit more sensitive. Let's say if you're doing neonatal you can put a flow sensor right at the patient Y. Uh, for our purposes, we're not going to do that test. Everything is going well so far. I'm getting passes. And you can hear it going through its checks, pneumatically powering the circuit and internal components as it goes. So this is doing the O2 sensor. I fully expect this to, to fail. Since I don't have this plugged into oxygen. So there you go, oxygen sensor fails, telling me to check gas connection. Well, if I redo the test, I can redo that test all day long, it's still gonna fail, so I'm just gonna cancel out of it. I'm gonna check my flow transducer next, the battery switch, patient circuit, and the Y sensor and alarm test. So you can see what a failure looks like, it comes up in red. For our purposes, again, in clinic, I would never accept this, but in here in the lab, um, we're going to go with that so we can override this. It says to me, one or more batteries need to be replaced, so check the batteries and the status for more information. The batteries themselves are actually located on the side here as well, so these are the batteries, so you can actually just pop them out, uh, get a new battery and charge them up. I'm going to hit OK. Telling me to unplug this, so I'm just going to plug it, unplug it from the AC outlet. It's running off of DC power now. Plug that back in. Just checking that I do have DC power. Saying connect patient 
circuit and block the Y. So I'll pop off that test tube, put your circuit back on, and follow the command and block the Y. So it's going to pressure the ter pressurize the circuit now. Unblock the Y. Yes, I do want to compensate for compressible volume. So right now it's telling me that my, I did not perform my Y sensor test. It didn't detect that it was anything was plugged into that module inside. Um, everything else passed except for my O2 cell, which we know the reason why. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Uh, it's asking me if I want to delete patient trends and data. Yes, I do. Now, here's the startup screen for the Servo Y. Servo Y's got a very nice layout. Top left on the GUI, so on the graphics user interface, you can see your patient demographics, so it'll show you if adult peds are neo. Um, you can select your modes by simply touching and then going into further modes, so volume control, pressure control, PRVC, PS, uh, CPAP, volume support, SIMV, uh, Bivent, and NAVA. Okay, so let's say we were going to set up a pressure control breath. On this machine, simply if, say I wanted to change my respiratory rate, I touch it, come over to the right side and I turn the knob until I get to the desired parameter, and then I simply push this knob in to select it. You'll see that it's highlighted, it's gone from white to gray, that's telling me that I have actually accepted that mode or parameter change. So let's go ahead and accept. Notice it's not ventilating yet. I'm not spewing out any kind of gas into the room and um, what you actually have to do to get this machine to ventilate is so down in the bottom here you have to actually lift up this window and press the uh, on standby button or start standby button. And you'll notice also down here you've got some control. Let's say uh, I didn't, didn't want 40 percent auction. Without going back into your mode or parameters you can actually choose which FO2, PEEP, respiratory rate, and uh, your distending pressure that you want. Okay, So if you wanted to go ahead and start ventilating, so if you wanted to go ahead and start ventilating, you actually come down, lift this up, push that start button, and you'll start seeing your ventilation strategy come to life. A um, couple nice things about the Servo Y, you get a three scale or graphics package. Your monitored values come up here on the right side. Uh, you do have the option of uh, getting additional values, so just by simply hitting additional values in the bottom on the graphics user interface. The next page gives you another set of values, and you can scroll through these in the lab just to ensure that you know what you're looking for and how to find it. Um, a couple other things, if you go into additional settings on the bottom, this is where you can do some of the things that weren't offered on the uh, parameters that were selected on your mode, so selecting let's say your trigger type and actually putting in what you want so let's say we wanted a trigger of let's say two and push that in close that out and we're good to go your alarm profiles something that we didn't do and we should have done before we started ventilating up in the right corner if you select